hi guys welcome back to my channel this is jane by design you're welcome to today's tutorial so today i'll be showing us how to make a double full circle peplum um top okay um double full circle peplum i'm going to be attaching this to a, a bodies later on but i'll just show you how to cut a full circle so if you want to cut a circle skirt or a circle to attach to your dress this is how to cut a 360 degree circle so sit back relax and enjoy and watch this video to the end if you're new here you're welcome and on this channel guys i upload pattern drafting and sewing tutorial please subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and ensure to put on your notification bell so that anytime i upload the video you'll be the first to get notified now moving on to the um the the cutting of this um, pattern i'm going to be cutting out the first step which is a longer one before moving down to um the smaller one which is the shorter one now you will also be needing the following measurements for this you'll be needing your waist circumference you need the radius of a circle the radius of a circle is 6.28 you'll be needing that and also you'll be needing the length of the um skirt or the peplum that you are going to cut so on my screen you can see i have all of my measurements uh right there on the screen but i'm going to just go ahead and go over it again so that for some of us that do not understand some of those calculations i'm going to take it again so that um we can understand it properly okay so um what i have here is what i'm going to be using to cut the first step and also it's the same process i'll be using to cut the first step and the second step so it's basically the same thing the only difference would be the length for both of for each of the steps of the full circle that we are cutting but every other thing would be the same so i'll just go over what i have on my screen now just go over the measurements that i have on my screen so that we will understand perfectly now the first um thing that i have there is the waist okay so you'll be needing your waist uh, measurement for this and my waist there is 13 inches you'll be needing diameter of a circle which is 6.28 for a full circle and you'll be needing the length i have the length of 9 inches i added 0 0.5 to 8 for um joining the bottom and then for us to be able to get the radius of a full circle that is you have to calculate your waist which is circumference your waist circumference divided by 6.28 and the value i got there was 4.7 so i'm going to be adding the length of the skirt which is 9.5 plus 4.7 and that gave us 14.2 so that will be the length of the fabric we'll be working on so this length consists of the radius and also the length of uh, our uh, of how long our our skirt or peplum would be now for you to cut this on your fabric what you need to do is to um times what you have that value 14.2 you times it by two so but for because i'll be cutting it on my fabric i said to make it 15 so 15 times 2 is 30 okay so the length that i have for on my fabric is 30 inches for the length and also the width i have is 30 so because it's a full circle you need the length and the width to be of the same value so the length is 30 and the width is 30 and by the time i go over and fold it into two it will fall back to 15 inches i hope you understand the length that i cut out on my fabric is 30 inches for the width and the length is um, also 30 inches by the time i folded it into two it fell down back to um 15 inches so this is how you be able to fold your um your full circle now i folded it into two and next thing we are going to fold it again to um create a smaller box okay to create a smaller square shape so i'm going to go over it again after folding it into two okay you need to fold it over to touch the other point so that you have four layers touching each other so two of the layers touching each other so you have four layers um sitting on your table now we are going to work on the radius 
of our skirt okay so now for this we are going to go ahead and take our tape and measure out 4.7 so you're going to place your tape at the covered edge of the fold so at the point where you have the fold folded okay where you folded your fabric to the other side you know the one part is folded and the other side is open so we are going to place our tape at that um, angle 45 degrees and we are going to go ahead and mark 4.75 all around um, the all around our fabrics i'm just going to go ahead and mark the radius i got on my measurement which is 4.75 and i'm going to go ahead and create a mini circle and we are going to mark it all around the fabric now we've gotten the radius of the skirt what we'll do next is to go ahead and um, get the length of our skirt so you know that the length we i put on my measurement is 9.5 okay so from that point you can just go ahead and mark 9.5 and then take it all the way around or you can just um, place your tape also from the beginning that's from the top of the fold and you go ahead and mark 14.2 it's basically the same thing okay so in this i'm just going to place my tape from the edge and i'll go ahead and mark my 14.2 all across this fabric to create the circle on this fabric so i just go ahead and do that now and after marking it i'll also take my half an inch sewing allowance all around it as well so i'll just go ahead and mark my half an inch sewing around allowance all around it and at the top where i have the other cycle there at the top where i have the radius i'll be taking my half an inch seam allowance inward now if you mark your seam allowance outside the circle you will end up having your waist uh when you, when you finally cut out the circle it will be a little bit bigger than your waist so it's important that when you take your when you mark out your seam allowance on the radius you mark it inside so that it doesn't when you cut it it's not the circle is not bigger than your actual waist measurements so now i've cut my circle i've cut out the 12 the radius and here this is what it looks like this is what a full circle looks like you can see what i have on my screen so i'll just go ahead and slash one side of um, this circle open and that is where the zipper is going to be sitting on okay so i'll just go ahead and use my scissors now to slash uh, one part of the circle open now we've gotten the first step move over to the second step so moving on to the second step i said it's the same process so i'm going to be but this, the only difference is that the second step of the full circle is a little bit is shorter than the uh, first one and the length of the second one is five inches we are going to be using the same radius since it's a full circle and for a full circle you have 4.7 i already did the calculation my waist divided by 6.28 note that 6.28 is just a standard in case you're going to ask me how i got 6.28 6.28 is just the standard calculation on how to for a circle okay so the diameter of a circle in mathematics i'm not good at math but i just know that the diameter for a circle is 6.28 for a full circle so after we've done that the radius we have is 4.2 now you're going to be adding the length and the, the radius and the length and the radius is um i'm going to add that up and that will give us 9.7 i'll be adding extra 0 0.5 in for um sewing allowance at the bottom the length i have here all together with the radius of for this um circle is 10.2 so now i have this i will just transfer this to my fabric now so like the first um step the second step is the same thing i have 10 times 10.2 times 2 that will be 20.4 i added extra one inch to it and that was um 
I had 21.5 so I had like 21.5 for the length and for the width of this so I folded it into two and I also went to here to over, fold it over again to give us four layers so the first thing we need to mark out at the edge where we our fold is at the edge where we have our fold do remember that always that you're taking all of the measurements from the folded edge so at the uh, edge where we have our fold I'm going to place my radius which is um 4.7 i'm going to go ahead and mark it all around place that mark all around the fabric okay and then i'll just go ahead and reconnect it back the way i did for the first step and i'll do that and after that i'm going to take the length of the so i did 10.2 so i'm going to place my tape also from the top the folded edge and i'll mark um 10.2 all across the fabric and i'll connect it back i'll add my half an inch sewing allowance to it at the bottom and also for the radius i'm going to be adding my sewing allowance to it as well inside and after that we are going to be cutting out this um pattern is as simple as that all right guys so after i have cut out this is what i have now okay this is what the full circle is this is the second step this is what it looks like and i'll just also um take my my scissors and i'm going to slash open uh one edge one part of the edge just so that we can attach our zipper and i have also taken the liberty to um, iron my interfacing on both sides okay so this is what it looks like guys if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and recommend this channel to your friends i'll see you guys in my next one thank you for watching and bye